morning, good morning. Today we're going to do a piece about the gateway to Sanibel and Captiva, the Sanibel Causeway. The current causeway consists of three separate bridges, with two man-made islands in between them. Bridge A is the one you're looking at now. It's the closest bridge to the toll booth and is 70 feet tall. It's the tallest bridge in Lee County. The three mile long causeway navigates across a body of water called San Carlos Bay. Before the causeway existed, a ferry crossed from Punta Rasa to Sanibel on a daily basis. The trip took about 45 minutes each way. By the mid 1950s, it was clear that the ferries were insufficient as demand to get to the islands had increased. The first Sanibel causeway was completed and opened for traffic on May 26, 1963. The original bridge was of a similar configuration as you see it today. It consisted of three spans and two islands. The main difference between the new and the old bridge was the old bridge had a much lower span A. It was only 26 feet high, so it required a drawbridge to allow boats to pass through. The original causeway needed to be replaced, so in 2004 they started construction on a new one. The official grand opening ceremony was held three years later on September the 8th, 2007. The original bridges were later demolished and their remains were sunk to create a number of artificial reefs. From this vantage point you can see Fisherman Key. It's dead ahead of you, the biggest island. To the left of that you'll see Picnic Island. We did a whole different video about Picnic Island, check that one out. Dead ahead in the middle of the bay, you see that light sandy area that's underwater. That's actually called Little Sanibel Island. Although it doesn't look like it from this vantage point, from the causeway, its shape looks like a miniature Sanibel Island. Hope you have the pleasure of coming across this causeway soon. Until then, my name's Nick Adams. See you on the next one.